The technology I select to present is augmented reality. The basic idea of AI is to overlay graphic, audio, and other sensory enhancement over a real-world environment in a real time, providing an expensive view for users. For example, AI can help to visualize the radio waves in the air, unlike the virtual reality, which create immersive and computer-generated environments. The AI is closer to the real world. AI apps are written in special 3D programs that allow the developer to tie animation or other digital information to an AR marker in the real world. To ensure a good fit to the space, it utilizes the camera and GPS technology to detect the user location and orientation, then place a virtual layer on the screen. The AR device includes a smartphone, eyeglasses, and a head-mounted device such as the Google Glasses. AI technology is firstly used for the military, industry, and medical application. Now, it has been applied to commercial and entertainment areas. For example, uh, the AI enable a virtual image of structure to in to superimpose into a real life view before the physical building is constructed. Also, it can be used to visualize the underground structure and how to design the cables and pipes. In addition. AI technology has helped the disabled people to create visual art with, uh, by using eye tracking to translate a user eye movement into a drawings on the screen. Besides, with the help of AI device, the study experience for students is enhanced. When students study chemistry, AI allows them to visualize the structure of a molecule and students are able to see the solar system in 3D then get a better understanding of astronomy. The other most common application of AI is the video game. It pulls the graphics out of the player's computer and integrates them into a real world. And in the medical area, there is an app called the Wayne Viewer, which is used to locate the worms and project the image onto the skin. AI has the potential to transform the way we view and learn the world. In the near future, we might have an electronic content lens which are seamlessly connected to the smartphone and able to access to the information online. The data will be displayed before the user's eyes, so they have two hands free to deal with other missions. The variable AI device could 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 nicely fit into the everyday life. For example, open Google Map and navigate yourself based on what you are facing. The content lenses will tell you turn left to get to the destination. Or open a travel app, explore any city with overlay 3D maps, and so what the city looked like at any point in history. The, the, simi the similar function also could be applied to the shopping, travel, cooking, and customer service. The release of mobile game Pokemon Go in 2016 brought an entirely new vision for the augmented reality technology. Thanks to the game, millions of the users have now tried AR for the first time. It so how deeply compelling AR can be. Uh, BBC Research estimated the global market for both VR and AR will reach more than 105 billion by 2020. In the Gunner figure, of this year, AI is going to the section in the trough of disillusionment with between 5 and 10 years. The time to the productivity will depend highly on the use cases. The market guard report identifies the AI will become a variable enterprise technology with a range of applications. The future of augmented reality is clearly bright. It already has found its way into our cell phones and video game systems. Analysts predict, analysts predict that the AR market will be three times larger than the VR market because it doesn't require any expensive hardware. Customers will bring out their phones to see if there is anything cool or interesting to experience with the AR application. Uh, it is a big opportunity for business. On the other hand, it is perspective to develop AI wearable devices such as the AI contact lenses and the glasses. And because it could be a daily system for users to read, to read the digital information of anything in front of their eyes.